Okay guys, it ain't a secret that RX 578GB is a slower card than GTX 1066GB. Everyone and their dogs in 2024 are twerking their booty saying that 8GB of VRAM is not enough for gaming. So what about, what about 6GB owners? Okay, we'll find this out the scientific way by testing a couple of newer games, starting with some new Donkey Kong. Oh, these Kong. are pretty cool bananas. <gasps> First of all, wh what is this? What the hell? Anyways, on 1080p low settings, the RX 570 took the W here. And we have a similar story on Forza Horizon 5. I fired up the game, played a bit, and as you can see from the benchmark results, on 1080p medium settings, the RX 570 magically managed to get more FPS. And I say magically, because as you can see from the gameplay footage, both of the video cards barely used half of their available VRAM. Okay, now, what about something older, like Fortnite? And, yep. As we can see from the benchmark results taken on 1080p medium settings, the GTX 1060 6GB proves that on older games it still got it. And you know what? Fortnite's results got me curious. So if the 1060 won by over 10%, what about esports games? And to test that, I've tried CS2 and good lord. On 1080p low settings, the GTX 1060 swiped the cheeks of the 570. Like, okay, we've seen some bigger or smaller wins from the 570, but an in-game difference, as you can see from the gameplay footage, was quite big. 150 to 200 FPS on the Radeon card in comparison to 200 to 250 FPS on GeForce was very noticeable. Now you're saying, okay, Mr. Fancy Pants, how can you tell a difference between 150 and 200 FPS? And uh, yeah, actually you can take a blame on me because I'm testing this game on a 280 Hertz monitor, so I'm seeing everything. <laughs> At this point, I expected similar results from the Make your watch as deep as possible simulator. But the results on 1080p medium settings turned out to be pretty similar, so I'm sussing a possible CPU bottleneck here. Now, Call of Duty Warzone 2 was a complete 180 in terms of gaming experience. On 1060, the frame rate was dropping to as low as 60 when running in the hallways, but... <laughs> My bad. <laughs> but it hovered around 80 FPS on RX 570, which was very noticeable when playing. The game was tested on 1080p basic preset, uh, by the way, and no upscaling, because on minimum preset, I can confidently say that even Minecraft has better graphics. On Cyberpunk 2077, using 1080p low settings, I got these benchmark results. And even though by a small margin, the RX 570 also took the win here, proving that size does not matter. And just for funsies, I also threw in 3D Mark's new benchmark for a spin, and surprisingly, the Steel Nomad returned almost identical results for both of these cards. Okay, now, after showing you the benchmark results, I just want to give you a quick reference point. I got the RX 570 8GB for 35 euros from my GPU dealer, meanwhile the GTX 1060 6GB was 57 euros from the same guy, which might sound expensive, but actually it was almost the cheapest price in the market. So we're still paying Nvidia tax here for some reason, because there's no DLSS, there's no ray tracing, and there's less VRAM, so I don't see the reason to pay more. Honestly, in 2024, I highly recommend all human beings looking for a budget graphics card to get the RX 570 instead. This way you'll get more performance, in most cases, for less money. Thank you so much for watching. Cheap bastard out.